Nigeria has recorded unprecedented and rapid deployment of ICT networks and services in the last decade. There is direct correlation between the independence of the regulator and the confidence and willingness of investors to invest in that environment. The ability of the regulatory body to develop regulations and guidelines that protect both the operators and the consumers largely also depends on how independent, how independent, independent the, the regulator is. It is therefore gratifying to note that the Nigerian Communications Commissioner enjoys full independence without any interference in the discharge of its regulatory functions. Over the years, the Commission has been able to develop and implement regulations and guidelines that seek to promote the interests of all stakeholders in the industry and in, in accordance with global best practice. The Nigerian Communications Act 2003 that provided the legal framework for establishment of the NCC as a regulator has also isolated the Commission as an independent regulatory body. This perception has no doubt assured investors' confidence and resulted in the massive investment and deployment of ICT infrastructure that we witnessed across the country in the last decade. The processes are totally digitized and you can now register uh, companies in Nigeria from your from your portal. And that's the right from which you from your home for your so you from outside Nigeria. I mean it's not like the revolutionary and can be sure that you can register a company to be done within, within uh, a few hours. So those are things that we believe impact directly across the world. So the reason is that is going to encourage the growth of the sector as uh, on its own. We're also focusing on using the ICT as a tool to as a transformation tool across the world of government. Uh, I'm off to the round. And already this is the world of This is the ranking in the world of governments, the government of the index. And we see how that you have the ranking quality before now. But we keep going for the now. We don't talk to what we for the other places because of this plan that the city has already been And we're sure that by 2016, we will have no standing for the show of the world of people more than the city. There are special challenges for this, and even if you say that, I will not go with that. The challenge is the only one that is very much more than that. Now we see how we need to move the economy and to move the development. People forget that. 50% or maybe 51% of the population is made up of females. And whether you like it or not, in the ICT and the economy space, there's always a depth of females participating. If you look around it, you can really count five from 80 to me that are sitting there. And we see even in the schools that, I mean, she has a lot of she was there, she was doing that, and she was doing her master's degree in UK. She was doing the same thing in class of electrical engineering. And then now, her daughter is doing the same thing. And she's the only female in the class. I'm going to say, what is wrong with it? So, if we say ICT is a huge transformation, I mean, a transformation tool to carry the population as well. And if 50% of the population are either not encouraged or not allowed to participate in the world, we're not going to get where we need to go. So, those are why we have to go for this question and then come to the next. They're not in that form of the industry, but there is a special in that form of the industry, and there's also so the special function, we don't have a woman in the field, we have a the field, we have a the together, a couple of projects. We have a digital girls club, and this is going to try to catch them up. So these are like, you know, these are tools that are from like the Coast Scouts or what have you, right from the high school. And then they form special curriculum for the for program for students, you know, uh, business practices, uh, safety and environment, and stuff like that. So that like ICT and technology, you know, is not scary to them. We can grab them and make them see that it is interesting. Today we have heard so much on what needs to be done. I'd like to give some opportunity to thank everyone. Uh, Madam Mrs. Rita Shalandi, she wasn't um, announced earlier. She came later representing the which is part of the ministry. 
And uh, we've heard the chairman talk about creation, creating freedom for success. Let's think about this. We've heard cases talk about broadband as a panacea for enhanced economic development. We've heard from the ministry that broadband is an endeavor for economic development. Nigeria a potential for growth from ICT consistent message from all participants there 
I think it was um, instructive and very, very elevating that um, they had representative mm -hmm. of the minister mm -hmm. and that uh, of the executive um, vice chairman of N NCC. Mm -hmm. And then when you listen to the two papers, mm -hmm. you will see some kind of convergence, yeah. trust, vision mm -hmm. of the nation mm -hmm. in terms of the things they are doing, opening up the space for competition, mm -hmm. you know, uh, deepening the uh, uh, oversight function of the um, uh, NCC mm -hmm. as a, in, uh, as okay, regulator, yeah. and they are telling you we don't have any kind of mindset. Mm -hmm. This thing is open. Mm -hmm. We are doing it as we see it, mm -hmm. and the idea is that we have a roadmap mm -hmm. where we are going. Mm -hmm. If you are interested, come on board. All right. Fantastic. If you are interested, uh, uh, come on board. The regulators has made the space very attractive for the players. All of them are happy. Nokia is uh, happy. Next week, we bring you uh, the conference part, you know, uh, 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 the roundtable uh, part uh, of this uh, conference, uh, so to speak. Managing Director of uh, Hiatel, uh, Shegun uh, Ogunsoya, uh, uh, was there. Managing Director of uh, uh, Eti Salat, yes, Matthew Wilshire, yeah, Wilshire, very, very quality, quality uh, 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 you know, presentation. Yes, that's it. Quality presentation. Uh, you know, we bring all of that to you uh, next week. All together, a very, very fantastic eye opener. Nokia is doing well. We encourage them to continue to do what they are doing, and even all of the others. Uh, this is a market that is ready for everything and the world hopefully in the years to come it will be a different story all right frantically the director says uh, we have to go with uh, fidel all right uh, let's do it again next week by the grace of god i'm calling abroad have a fantastic uh, thursday fidel thank you for for watching see you next week